Welcome back to How to Souls. My name is Rach and today we're gonna talk about Snuggly the Crow. Snuggly the Crow, you never actually see specifically, but his nest, or I say his, their, their nest, is back at the Undead Asylum. If you don't already know how to get back to the Undead Asylum, I mean, I'm doing it right now, but I've got a video for you in the cards above where I go into specific detail on how to get back there. But yeah, basically I've just done it for you here. Go pretend to be an egg. So looking down at the asylum, on your left, there is a cliffside with a nest on the very edge of it. This is Snuggly's nest here, and there are absolutely no clues <laughs> telling you what to do here, except for, of course, this video you're watching. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get specific items. Now, Snuggly is looking for stuff that is soft and fuzzy and warm, much like our moss clumps here. Don't just drop anything, I'll get you a list of everything that you can drop in just a second, but just to show you what to do, you're going to want to select your item and you're going to drop it, not use it, drop it. We're going to drop just the one of them. You'll see that we've deposited our little moss clump here, just inside Snuggly's nest here. Now if we want the crow to actually trade with us, we need to give him some time, we need to give him a chance, so you can run back to the bonfire and rest at the bonfire, or if you're like me and incredibly impatient, you can just restart the game. <laughs> he has traded us in exchange for that purple moss clump a twinkling titanite. I think this was a pretty good deal for us considering we can use this twinkling titanite to level up our black knight sword. If you're interested in hearing more about that, uh, leveling up the black knight sword or any other unique weapons that require twinkling titanite, you can check out this video here in the cards above now. Other notable things you can trade with Snuggly include trading a twin humanities, if you've managed to pick one up, in exchange for a rare ring of sacrifice. Now, I love doing this just before I head to Duke's archives because there is an unavoidable death that you might get cursed in. So if I take a rare ring of sacrifice, even if I get cursed, I don't lose my souls and I don't lose my uh, half my health bar. Another one of my favorite trades to make is if you pick up a lantern in the catacombs, perhaps you've even managed to pick up a spare because they do drop from some enemies there, is you can trade the lantern with Snuggly in exchange for a ring of fog, which ironically is very useful against the boss of the Tomb of the Giants, Nito. It reduces your visibility. And as for all of the other trades, I've got a complete list for you on the screen now. You can trade a pendant, if you chose that as your starting gift, in exchange for a souvenir of reprisal. Only slightly less useless if you're playing offline. Trade some rubbish in exchange for a titanite chunk. Very good deal. If you're going down the divine and occult route, you can trade a cracked red eye orb in exchange for two purging stones which do remove curse. Uh, humanity gets you a ring of sacrifice, whereas a twin humanities, as shown, gives you a rare ring of sacrifice. You can trade a prism stone and a dung pie for a demon titanite, each very useful. They level up boss weapons, not that easy to come by. You can trade a pyromancy flame, just a basic one, in exchange for a red titanite chunk, but if you trade the ascended pyromancy flame, then Snuggly will return a red titanite slab for topping off your fire and chaos weapons. Trade an egg vermifuge in exchange for a dragon scale to level up your drake sword or any other dragon tail weapons. A sunlight maggot, which um, I wouldn't be trading this for the world, just saying, gets you an old witch's ring so you can understand Quaylag's sister. Uh, trade the sack in exchange for the demon's great hammer. I don't really know <laughs> where Snuggly the Crow got a demon's great hammer. Uh, the skull lantern gives you the ring of fog, like I mentioned. The ring of the sun princess gets you two divine blessing. One of the few, in my opinion, bad trades with Snuggly. The Xanthos crown, in my opinion, another really bad trade because uh, it's the only one you can get trades you for the ring of favor and protection, which I guess if you got the one from Lautrec and then broke it, Here's another chance at another one. And finally, the soul of Manus, how very random, can be traded with Snuggly in exchange for the Pursuer's spell. And that is the complete list of things you can trade with Snuggly. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, remember to rate it with a thumbs up. You can subscribe for more Dark Souls videos and other from software games right here on How to Souls. And I'll see you in the next video.